Because on this last question, you guys need um, the same exact thing. What did I say? If you don't have a point, is that a point on the inner circle 2x? No, it's not, right? So we need to, again, do the same thing. Create a triangle. Could we have created a triangle with the first one, too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. I don't know why you guys are talking out when you're not supposed to, but yeah, absolutely. But what we did is, remember we found out, what is the, the sign? Um, the thing, but remember, what is, what is always your hypotenuse for the on a unit circle? One. one. So rather than saying it's always opposite over hypotenuse, since the hypotenuse is already one, we just said, oh, it's just, just put it as the opposite side. That's why we say it's always the y coordinate. It's not really always just the y, it's not just the y coordinate. It's, uh, it's the y coordinate, it's the ratio of the y coordinate over the hypotenuse. But in the unit circle, the hypotenuse is one. That's why we're able just to say it's the y coordinate. So here, I have sine of x, which is 2x. It's not as a ratio. Therefore, this actually has my ratio equal to 1, or my hypotenuse is going to equal 1. So again, I need to figure out my last point. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to figure this out. So therefore, I have 1 squared equals 2x squared plus b squared. So therefore, it's 1 equals 4x squared plus b squared minus 4x squared. So I have 1 minus 4x squared equals b squared. Square root, square root, b equals square root of 1 minus 4x squared. And no, you cannot simplify it. OK? So therefore, to find the cosine, what's the cosine of the function? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, since my hypotenuse is just 1, it's just going to be the adjacent side. So my final answer is going to equal the square root of 1 minus 4x squared. OK? So the main important thing that I can tell you guys. Uh,